it's a beautiful day and we're not actually at McAllister's we're at we're at which which got myself a buffalo chicken sandwich would you what is yours exactly turkey you get a turkey wrap did is are the wraps new mm -hmm. they just started doing mm -hmm. them and I said uh, she got a wrap because the lettuce witches are such a pain to make I feel like anytime we ever ordered one the employees were were mad but this is I think this is better than the lettuce witch anyway I think the lettuce switches were good, but they're crunchy. Yeah, this they're, is nice. They're crunchy in a way that I don't really, don't really like. One of the agendas for today is for Mal to find shoes because Mal does not, from what I can tell, own real shoes. <laughs> yes. Do you? you? No, I don't. You don't. Uh, Mal needs a pair of tennis shoes because uh, we are going to Arizona slash Utah slash Rocks uh, <laughs> later this month uh, for vacation with uh, Mal's side of the the family, Mal's dad's side of the family. And um, it, there's going to be lots well, of hiking and there's, walking. There's going to be hiking and walking, and things that require yeah non sa sandals. And so. while I've kind of uh, gone all over the globe with my rainbows and been fine with it, there's lots of cliffs and um, dangerous stuff. <laughs> it's not ideal to hike in. No, um, I've. I have also done things in rainbow sandals that a normal man would not a attempt, but I've been wearing rainbow sandals for a long time. But even I'm going to be taking boots, so we're going to go shop around and see if we can't find Mao some some shoes. And it'll also give you time between now and the trip to like break them in, yeah. which is going to be good. How do you like those? They have some good balance to them. Like I can't roll my ankle. You look kind of ridiculous in with those shoes with the skirt, but styling. Yeah, totally styling. That was easy. Yeah. I was kind of thinking that it'd be like we'd have to go to several stores, but it was the second pair you tried on. Yeah, I mean it helps when my feet are super tiny and fit everything. Yeah. So Mao got a pair of shoes. They were cheap, fifty bucks. Seems nice. Yeah, they're good hiking shoes. Yeah. All right. Well, that's done. This is the pair of shoes that Mao ultimately went with, called Bear Paw. And uh, they're pretty cool looking. They're gray and cyan, robin's egg blue, I guess you could say. They're pretty shoes. Um, we actually put them on earlier. Well, she put them on earlier. And uh, we walked around the neighborhood a little bit just because um, Matt wants to try and break them in before we go on our trip to Arizona slash Utah and do all our hiking. I have Timberlands, so I'm, I'm set. I don't usually wear them, and I'll probably have to re-break them in a little bit as well, but should work just fine. Um, also, today is the first of the month, and at the end of every first of the month vlog, we say a thank you to our patrons. Thank you. Um, all of the names of our Patreon producers are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. And if you're watching and you'd like to learn more about uh, Patreon and how you can support Mal and myself and the perks that come along with that, um, you can go in the description box down below and click the link, or there should be a card appearing on screen now. And you can check it. You can check it out. Um, we do sincerely appreciate our patrons. I know in a recent um, in a recent Q and A, we actually talked a little bit about it, uh, just because some people were asking questions. You know, like um, ha has it made life easier? And, and I think the ultimately it came down to was it more of a necessity now? And it is. Um, Patreon has shifted because of some of the, I guess, the YouTube stuff that has changed. Um, it's made it more of a something that we can rely on. So more than ever, thank you, patrons. We uh, sincerely appreciate you in a way that I could probably never fully express in words. Um, now this evening, um, we are cooking up something for dinner that is not completely unusual. Um, I'm cooking up some mushrooms right now, but we got some shiitake mushrooms in there, which is something that Mao has wanted for a long time, um, but they very rarely have them in stock at the grocery store. But today was one of the days that they had them so um, we've got baby Bellas in there, obviously, but we also have some shiitakes uh, mixed in, and Mal's excited to try them. I've had shiitake before, but it's been a while. Um, the other cool thing is that um, earlier, I know that, yeah, that, that's what I'm getting at. Earlier, um, I know that uh, I had said we were watching the, the cat, Rocco, um, my parents' cat, or my cat, depending on how you want to look at it. We were watching Rocco because my parents were out of town. My dad had a doctor's appointment. Well, they messaged me today on their way back, and they said uh, we uh, stopped at Boone Hall Plantation, 
and picked up some strawberries. Boone Hall might sound familiar because uh, we went there with Lindsay, Steph, and Steve back in October. And they're still, they're, they're you know, a historical site, but then also they're, they're still... still a working farm today. They're still a working farm, so, you know, they have produce. And uh, they, they went in and stopped and got some uh, strawberries for us. And Mal just finished cutting them up. There's so many. And they are so good. They are some of the better strawberries we've had in, uh, in quite a while. They are really, really tasty. Also, I can, like, I can smell the mushrooms, but you can smell the shiitakes. They, yeah, they have a different smell. They have a different smell. We don't. We normally get the bellas because the, the normally they're out of the shiitake mushrooms, but man, they uh, they do have a smell. Um, anyway, tomorrow uh, we're actually gonna have to ride out again, but hopefully it'll be pretty quick. Uh, this this weekend is Austin and Nikki's baby shower um, because. Nikki will be having her baby next month? They're due, no, I think. June. Oh, now it's May, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, next month. Um, so uh, we got something from the registry and it was at Target. And uh, in order to make sure we get it on time, since it, their baby shower is this Saturday, we're gonna go pick it up in the store. You gonna take over? Yep. You can take over. Um, you can add a little more garlic if you want. I added some. No, I can smell that garlic. It's plenty. I like garlic. Um, so we're gonna go over to Target uh, tomorrow and, and pick that up. And otherwise, we should be, you know, back to work and, and getting things done. Things have been pretty good. Um, we've definitely been getting in bed late, but uh, it's slowly crept back towards a normal time. And tonight we should be getting in bed. I mean, it's it's midnight right now, but it's been worse. It's been like six and then three. So the fact that it's you know only about midnight now is that's a good sign. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And there's one final thing. When my mom was over here earlier, she brought us strawberries, but she also brought us something else that she found on clearance somewhere. She got it for, I think, she got it for five bucks. It was half off this price. It's called a pet snack launcher. I don't really understand what it is. It looks like you put like food pellets in it and then you shoot it. I have no idea. I'm confused. With how motivated our cats are by food, it's going to be good. Yeah, we're going to try it out and see what they do. So we'll probably do a, uh, a bonus video with this vlog of us giving it a shot. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to expect, but it should be a good time. All right, that's it. Go watch this bonus video. And uh, as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?